division equal grouping today it is the king of the forest sher khan's birthday all the animals of the forest have been invited for the birthday celebrations different animals are sitting in groups let us see how the rabbits are sitting there are 10 rabbits and they are sitting in two groups each group has 1 2 3 4 five rabbits seated in them now let's look at it in another way a total of 10 rabbits are seated in two groups each group having five rabbits it is called dividing in equal groups distributing things equally among people or making equal groups of people or things is called division what are we doing here forming two equal groups of 10 rabbits so we can call it as a group dividing 10 rabbits in two equal groups there are five rabbits in each group this is the total number of things to be divided this is a symbol of division this is the total number of groups this is the total number of things in each group in this lesson we will develop an understanding of how to divide things into equal groups oh who is this appu the elephant he is bringing three necklaces for sher khan as a birthday gift oh no appu slips down and all the necklaces are broken Appu had a total of 9 pearls in his 3 necklaces. Can you help Appu make 3 necklaces with equal pearls again? Let's do it together. First, we will put one pearl in each necklace. Now, we have 6 pearls left. Now, we will put one more pearl in each necklace now we have three pearls left now finally we will put one last pearl in each necklace appu has no other pearls left and his three necklaces are ready let's see how many pearls are there in each necklace yes Each necklace has 3 pearls. In other words, Appu's 9 pearls were divided into 3 equal groups and each group had 3 pearls. Let us see what the monkeys are doing at the party. 3 monkeys started feeling hungry in the party. They saw 12 samosas on the table. Can you help divide 12 samosas equally among 3 monkeys? Let's do it together. Yes. Every monkey will get 4 samosas here. There are 12 samosas here. Divide them into 3 equal groups. So There will be 4 samosas in each group. What does Barbole Taylor have in his hand? Sher Khan's mother asked Barbole Taylor to make some shirts for Sher Khan's special friends. The tailor attaches 4 buttons to each shirt. He has 12 buttons. Let's see How many shirts will he be able to put buttons on? 
After putting four buttons on the first shirt, the tailor had eight buttons left. Now, four buttons are left after putting four buttons on the second shirt. After putting four buttons on the third shirt, all the buttons are over. After creating groups of four buttons, twelve buttons were divided into three groups. In this lesson, we developed an understanding of how to divide things into equal groups. In the previous lesson, we developed an understanding of how to divide things into equal groups. Let us now look at some examples to understand this in more detail. Example 1 Do you like laddus? Guru Panda also likes to eat laddus just like you. Gulu Panda saw 20 laddus. He wants to carry laddus equally for his friends. He has four empty plates. Can you help him divide these 20 laddus equally into four plates? We can write this question this way. Four equal groups of 20 laddus equal to How many laddus per group? First, we will put one laddu in each plate. We will repeat it till all the laddus are over. We can see that there are five laddus in each plate. In this way, Four equal groups of 20 laddus equals to 5 laddus per group. Hey, 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 oh, 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 what happened? Who is hidden under so many gifts? Oh, look, it is Sher Khan. The poor guy was buried under a pile of gifts. Can you help him? Keep the gifts in his cupboard. You can keep five gifts in every shelf. So, tell me how many shelves will be required to keep 25 gifts of Sher Khan? We can write this question like this. 25 gifts divide 5 gifts Per shelf equals to how many shelves? First, we will put five gifts on one shelf. Now, we have 20 gifts. Now, we will keep five gifts on the second shelf. So, now we have 15 gifts. Now, we will put Five gifts on the third shelf. We have ten gifts now. Now, we will keep five gifts on the fourth shelf. So, we are left with five gifts now. Now, we will put five gifts on the fifth shelf. All the gifts are now over. Oh, wow! <laughs> Look, Sher Khan is so happy. Hope you have understood the concept of division better through these examples. If you want to review these examples, then you can watch this video again. In the next video, we will cover some common mistakes related to this.
division equal grouping common mistakes gaggu hippo is walking merrily he saw some clusters of green grass at some distance on going closer he saw that Five of his friends were already there. There are thirty-six clusters in total. Can you divide these grass clusters equally between Gaggu and his friends? Can you choose the correct option from the options given below? Let us evaluate each option to find the right one. Let's look at option 1. We can also write this option as 5 equal parts of 36 clusters of grass equals to how many cluster per friend per part? In this option, we see that total number of items equals to 36 clusters. total parts equals to five friends parts we have to find out how many clusters are there per friend per part but what will poor guggu eat in this option we have not included guggu while calculating the total parts here The total number of parts is wrong. For this reason, this option is incorrect. This is a very common mistake that we make when we divide. Always count the total number of parts correctly. Now, let's look at option 2. In this option, six friends are being divided into thirty-six grass clusters, which is wrong according to this question. For this reason, this option is incorrect. This is a very common mistake that we make while performing division. Now let's look at option three. We can write this option like this: thirty-six clusters divided among six friends is equal to how many clusters per friend per part? In this option, we have divided thirty-six clusters into six friends. Thus, it is the right option. children in this video we learned to develop an understanding of the division of things into equal groups we also learned to use them with examples and also saw some common mistakes we hope that this video lesson will be useful for you In this lesson we will learn how to divide two digit numbers with one digit number Raju and Bablu have received a letter from Jeev today the letter says that Jeev is coming to their house to celebrate Diwali along with his friends Raju and Bablu have come to Gaggu's cracker shop to buy some firecrackers they bought a box of 12 flower pots from Gaggu Now they are thinking if they have to divide the flower pots equally among all of Jeev's friends how many flower pots will each friend get Children can you help Raju and Bablu to find answer to this What is the total number of objects here 12 flower pots among how many people are they to be divided four friends Come let us find out how many flower pots will each friend get 
first we will give one flower pot to each friend how many flower pots are left eight now we will continue giving one flower pot each to the four friends till all the flower pots are over in this way 12 flower pots have been divided among four friends how many flower pots did each friend get absolutely right three flower pots how do we write it in the form of division 12 flower pots divided into four equal parts is three flower pots in each part raju and bablu are planning to buy pencils as gift to jeev's friends they bought 20 pencils from bunny's shop raju asks bablu how they would distribute these pencils among five of jeev's friends children can you find the answer to this if you want you can pause the video and find the answer well done children you have found the right answer we can divide 20 pencils among five friends in this manner each friend will get four pencils how do we write this in the form of division 20 pencils divided into five parts is four pencils per part when raju and bablu reached home with all the things they saw that their house was decorated with beautiful festoons they thought why not buy some festoons to decorate jeev's flying saucer as well they quickly ran to chanda's flower shop chanda makes each festoon with a bunch of seven flowers if raju and bablu want to decorate jeev's flying saucer with 14 flowers how many festoons will they have to buy children can you find the answer to this question and write it in the form of division well done children you have given the right answer if we divide 14 flowers into festoons of seven flowers each we will get two festoons at last jeev came in his flying saucer to raju and bablu to celebrate diwali along with his friends look how happy he and his friends are seeing raju and bablu's preparation children in this lesson we learned how to divide two digit numbers with a one digit number in the next lesson we will look at some interesting examples of this In the last lesson, we learn to divide two digit numbers with one digit number. In this lesson, we will look at some interesting examples of this. Today, Appu has come to the market for shopping. First, he came to Bhola's vegetable stall to buy vegetables. When he was buying potatoes from Bhola, he remembered that his neighbors Chanda and Golu had also asked him to get potatoes from the market. But Appu had forgotten how many potatoes they had asked him to get. Appu bought 18 kilogram of potatoes. Appu thought that he will share the potatoes equally with Chanda and Golu. However, he is not sure how many potatoes he should give to Chanda and Golu. Children, can you help Appu? Into how many equal parts does Appu have to divide the 18 kg potatoes? 3. Suppose there are 18 1 kg bags of potatoes. If we divide 18 into 3 equal parts, how many potatoes will each part have? Correct! Each part will have 6 kg. Appu will have to give 6 kg each of potatoes to Chanda and Golu. Appu asked Bhola to divide the 18 kg potatoes into 3 bags of 6 kg each. Then he went to the market to buy other things. Now Appu has come to Badbole Chacha's shop. Appu really liked one fabric. He bought a 30 meter long piece of fabric from Badbole Chacha. On his way back home, 
Appu thought that he and his best friend Golu would get similar shirts stitched from the fabric. Appu is thinking how many meters of fabric should he give to Golu? Children, can you tell how Appu can find the answer to this question? Oh yes, Appu will have to divide that 30 meters fabric into two equal parts. Suppose there are 30 meters of fabric of 1 meter each. If we divide 30 into two equal parts, how many meters will be there in each part? Right, 15 meters. Appu turned towards Chacha's shop and got the fabric cut by Chacha into two parts of 15 meters each. Appu went to Golu's dairy to give him the fabric. Golu was delighted. He gave Appu 27 liters of milk, saying that all the nine friends would equally share the milk and drink it. Children, can you tell how many liters of milk will each of Appu's friend get? Well done, children. You have found the right answer to this. Each of Appu's friends will enjoy 3 liters of milk. Children, in this lesson, we saw some interesting examples of dividing two digit numbers by one digit number. We saw some interesting examples of dividing two digit numbers with one digit number. Now, let us see few concepts on this. One day, Barbole Chacha and some other people were going for fishing to the river together. They were 14 people in all and they had two boats. Chacha asked Golu how many people could go in each boat. Golu was unable to understand which method he could use to find the answer to this question. Children, can you tell which method Golu needs to use to find this answer. Correct! Golu will have to use the method of division here. Whenever we need to divide objects equally between people or have to make equal groups, we use the method of division. Using division, Golu found that seven people could go in each boat. All the people have reached the river bank for fishing. Babban caught 15 fish. He is thinking that he would like to divide the fish equally among 15 of his friends. To find out how many fish he will have to give to each friend, he quickly wrote down this division on a piece of paper. Children, has Babban written this correctly? Oh, Babban has written it wrong. Whenever we divide a number by itself, the answer will always be 1, as every person will get one object each. All friends caught a lot of fish and happily went home in their boat. Children, in this lesson, we saw few concepts about division. In this lesson, we will learn about the relation between division and multiplication. One day, Chanda found three shiny pouches right outside her house. Chanda first opened one pouch and found some pumpkin seeds in it. Very next day, she sowed those seeds. Within a few days, 15 huge pumpkins grew. Chanda was not able to believe her eyes. She had never seen a pumpkin of this size in her entire life. Chanda decided to divide the 15 large pumpkins among her five friends equally. Children, can you tell 
how Chanda will do this? Chanda first gave two pumpkins each to her five friends. Then she will give one more pumpkin. How many pumpkins will Chanda give to each friend? Three pumpkins. How can we write this by using division? When you divide 15 pumpkins equally in five parts, you get three pumpkins in each part. If we look closely, we will see that we have five friends and each friend will get three pumpkins. How else can we write this? Absolutely correct. We can write it like this by using multiplication. 5 multiplied by 3 is 15 pumpkins. Children, we can write any division in the form of multiplication. Now, Chanda opened her second parcel. She found some rice grains in it. Chanda thought that she could cook some kheer for herself. But as soon as she began cooking the kheer, it kept on increasing and increasing in quantity. At last, from those rice grains, Chanda managed to make 48 kg of kheer. Chanda needed to divide that kheer among 12 people in the village. Can you tell how much kheer each villager would get? Chanda will first give 2 kg of kheer to each individual. Then, she will give 1 kg more kheer to each of them. And finally, 1 more kg of kheer. This way, Chanda will divide 48 kg kheer equally among 12 people and each person will receive 4 kg of kheer. How can we write this by using division? Absolutely correct. We can write it like this using division. Children, can you write this division in the form of multiplication? If you like, you can pause the video and find the answer. Very good children, you have found the right answer. If there are 12 people and each person gets 4 kg of kheer, then total quantity of kheer is 48 kg. 12 multiplied by 4 is 48. We can write this multiplication in one more way. If every person gets 4 kg kheer and there are 12 people who get kheer, then total quantity of kheer is 4 multiplied by 12, which is 48 kg. We can write any division in two ways in terms of multiplication. Just when Chanda was about to open the third pouch, she remembered the happiness she had felt after opening the first two pouches. She thought why not give this pouch to her friend Babban and make him happy. Thinking this, Chanda quietly left the pouch outside Babban's door. Now, what did Babban find in that pouch? This you will find out in the next video. Children, in this video, we learned about the relation between division and multiplication. In the next video, we will bring to you some interesting examples related to this. Hello children! In the previous video, we learned about the relation between division and multiplication. In this video, you will see some interesting examples related to this. In the last video, we saw how Chanda had quietly left her third pouch outside Babban's door. When Babban spotted that pouch, he picked it up and got it inside the house. When Babban opened the pouch, he found some wooden sticks in it. Babban kept those sticks in one of the corners of his bedroom and slept. Next morning, when he woke up, he saw that those sticks had overnight turned into a large pile of sticks. There were 48 wooden sticks in total. He thought that he would divide these equally among his six friends. Can you tell 
how many sticks will each friend get to begin with we can give four wooden sticks to each one of his friends like this we can then further give them three sticks each and finally we can give one stick more to each friend this way we can make bundle of eight sticks to divide 48 sticks equally among six friends how can we write this in the form of multiplication absolutely correct we can write it in terms of multiplication like this if there are six friends and each friend is given eight sticks then total number of sticks will be 48 or if each friend is given eight sticks and the number of friends is six then the total number of sticks will be 48 children can we use multiplication to answer a question on division yes look at the division and multiplication here can you spot some similarities in these two oh yes if we need to find out the answer for division question, all we need to do is look up the table of 6 and see what multiplied by 6 is 48. Or in the table of 8, what multiplied by 8 equals 48. So children, in the table of 6, what do we multiply with 8 to get 48? Absolutely correct. 6 times 8 is 48. And... In the table of 8, what times 8 equals 48? Correct again. 8 times 6 equals 48. In this way, we can use multiplication to figure out the answer for division. For example, 8 sticks per friend or 6 friends, it can be found out. As Babban had thought, he gave 8 sticks to his friend Golu Panda. Golu decided to share those eight sticks equally with four friends. How many sticks will Golu give to each of his friends? Children, can you use multiplication to find the answer to this question? If you want, you can pause the video here to think of the answer. Excellent! Your answer is absolutely correct. We need to look at the table of four and look up the place where 8 appears. 4 times 2 is 8. So, the answer to this part is 2. Total number of sticks is 8. To be divided among 4 friends, each friend will get 2 sticks. Golu divided the wooden sticks among his friends and this made them very, very happy. Children, follow their example and share what you have with your friends and stay happily together. Children, in this video, we saw some interesting examples related to multiplication and division. In the previous video, we saw some interesting examples related to multiplication and division. In this video, we will see some misconceptions around these concepts. Raju and Bablu are out in the market. Raju read what was written on Gagu's shop front. Four pencils for 20 rupees. He asked Bablu, how much would they have to pay if they wanted to buy one pencil? Children, can you tell how much Raju and Bablu would need to pay for one pencil? Oh yes, Raju and Bablu will need to pay 5 rupees for one pencil. We can find this answer with division like this. Children, how can we write this in terms of multiplication? Absolutely correct. This is the way in which we can write it in terms of multiplication. Four pencils and each pencil costs five rupees. So, the total is twenty rupees. Bablu quickly handed five rupees to Gagu and bought the pencil. Raju was amazed. 
at how fast Bablu had calculated the answer. Then Bablu wrote these division and multiplication equations for Raju. He told Raju that he found the answer for division by using multiplication. Raju got excited when he heard about the relation between division and multiplication. Raju said to Bablu that he can write this multiplication like this also. 5 rupees per pencil and 4 pencils, so the total amount is 20 rupees. Children, has Raju written it correctly? Yes, he has. Raju has written this correctly. We can write any kind of multiplication in two ways. Then Raju thought that he can also write division in two ways because of the relation between division and multiplication. Therefore, after writing division like this, he happily told Bablu that he had become an expert in maths. Children, is the division written by Raju correct? No, what Raju has written is wrong. But uh, why is it wrong? Because here Raju is dividing 4 pencils in 20 rupees. And is this even possible? Not at all. This is not possible. <laughs> Bablu laughed and explained to Raju that even though division and multiplication have a relationship, the way we do for multiplication, we cannot write division sums by changing places of numbers. Raju took Bablu's pencil from him and said that with that pencil, he would practice his math skills and become an expert at it. Both of them burst out laughing. Children, in this video, we saw some misconceptions about relationship between multiplication and division.